The film is about a very genius girl named Lynn. Her father is very stirred because of her brilliance. He wanted to enroll her in a more reputed school. When they visit that school, then they know by the principal that the dues of that school are unaffordable. Can you bear the dues? As Lynn begins to talk there. But that principal is inspired by Lynn's conversation and math calculations. Moreover, she enrolls her in the school with no dues. Now, Lynn has made friends with another girl who has just started school. But she is not as brilliant as Lynn. Lynn used to help her to solve the queries of mathematics. Their examination starts in which Lynn gets the full grades. And her friend also gets good grades, but lower than Lynn. Whereas she was not prepared for the exam, but Lynn helped her to solve the paper. So both friends are extremely excited. Then Lynn and her friend move to a party arranged by Lynn's buddy. Then Lynn comes to know while talking. Indeed, she got the scholarship. It means she had been admitted to school with no dues. But there were some funds which has been paid by her father. When Lynn checks the fee slip, going to the house, then she knows that his father has exactly given the 200,000 baht as funds for the school. Seeing it, Lynn starts to weep and says to her father, Father, what was the need to enroll me in the most expensive school? Her father says to her, Nothing is more important for me than your bright future. Just concentrate on your studies. There is the birthday of Lynn's mother in the coming time, and she begins to play the piano while missing her because she is deprived of the love of her mother. Then, Lynn hits upon an idea. As her classmates are not brilliant like her, and they always drop in their examination. Why do I not help them with exams at this time? Then she calls all her fellows and says to them, Look at it. As I am playing this piano, just remember the movement of these fingers. If I point my fingers as such then it means A option. If I move it like this, then the answer will be B or C or D. Then all students learn the points of her fingers. When there is time for an exam, then Lin helps them with papers, pointing her fingers. In this way, that class begins to achieve good grades. Her class result is at the top when the result is announced. It is obvious that the topper of this class is Lin. And the student's name is Bank, who gets the second position. They partake in a competition while representing their school. The title of this contest is Teen Genius. Bank is also very brilliant, so both win this contest. So the principal and others feel pleasure from them. The principal says to them that, There are a few students who are getting their education on the basis of scholarships. But Lynn and Bank, I am really very inspired by both of you. You both have brightened the name of our school. So I can give one chance to both of you. But the matter of fact is this. Only one of them can achieve it. The fact is this. That you can get the education in Singapore, going on the basis of the scholarship. Just select yourself who is one of you who needs to go there. Here the family background of Bank is revealed. It is not sound. So Bank used to struggle hard for this cause so he may do something good for his family. Then a boy arrives at the bank. He says to him, I need your book. You make good assignments. Then bank says to him, I apologize. I also need to study. That boy says to him by mistake, you don't help anyone. Lynn helps us a lot and she also assists us in the examination. He should not have said it, but he speaks it by mistake. This is disliked by bank. He begins to notice it as the paper starts. As Lin is really helping them in cheating, now the exam starts. Then the question paper is distributed to all the students. Some question papers are set one while others are set two. It means that both question paper sets are different. Lin has the set one question paper. She gesticulates to others, I have set one question paper. Now those students who had set one paper, they could get the help of Lin in cheating. Others will surely be failed. When Lin begins to help them in cheating, Bank is observing it. 
he immediately goes to tell the supervisor. Okay, says the supervisor, I'll see what happens. Please take a seat right now. Now they all come outside after taking the exam. Then the principal calls Lynn in her office. Lynn observes, going inside, she notices that Bank is already there. It means that he has complained to the principal. The principal asks her that you have been helping in cheating. Lynn gets confused here. Lynn's father is also called, and he is complaining that your daughter has been helping in cheating on others. Had we enrolled her in this school for this purpose? She speaks many rigid words before her father. Lynn is unable to bear it, so she says to the principal, what are you talking about? Say to me what you like. Why are you saying it to my father? The principal flies into a rage. Lynn should not have misbehaved like this because her chance to go to Singapore had been over and it happens what seemed threatening. The principal declares that she will not dismiss Lynn on one condition. She will have to study in school without any value if you want to take classes here and she will also not be sent to Singapore. Then Lynn says, okay, don't do it, and she returns home from there. Returning home, Lynn is scolded badly by her father. Lynn receives a call from her friend who asks her to come to a hotel. She tells her, I need your help. My friend's father has also taken a seat here. Now that boy's father begins to talk to Lynn. I want my son to pass an exam, so you will have to assist him in cheating. Actually, that boy and Lynn's friend are going to take an exam here. Passing that exam has many advantages. They had called Lynn because they both could not pass the paper. So she may help them. And she will be offered 600,000 Thai baht in return. Now Lynn was not willing to carry it out because she had been humiliated before. So she leaves, apologizing to them. Lynn casts a glance at the adjusted watches there as she is going out of the hotel. It has a different time, as each country is appearing its own time. Then an idea strikes her mind, the international test which her friend and that boy were going to take. It had to conduct at the same time in the whole world. Each country has a different time, obviously. So the country where this exam will be conducted first so the question paper and the answers can be gone through. Because the question paper will be the same. By cheating that answer key, they can take their exam. Now Lynn goes on to tell both of them this fact. So they decide that they will also take the help of bank. So Lynn declares that I will go to Australia for this. And I will take the exam there. And I will send you the answer key, memorizing the questions for the exam so you may appear in your exam after being prepared. So they get excited because this plan is perfect. On the other side, Bank is shown who is beaten by some boys and they throw him in a corner. Here they all are planning. How do they cheat in the international test and in what way? They start to contact those students who had to appear in that international test. They say to them while grouping, if you need help in the exam, then present the money. And this amount of money is nothing in place of passing that test. Being agreed, all students join their created group. That richest boy whose father was aristocratic and wanted to make his son pass this test. That boy begins to tell everyone, listen to me. You can carry only four things in the examination hall, including a pencil, eraser, passport, and question paper. The question arises how will you cheat the answers? Bank and Lynn fly to Australia, and they will keep the question of the test in their memory there. But they cannot send messages to all students. So they decide as there is a barcode on a pencil. In the same way, they will get the answer key and print it. The answers will be printed according to barcode's lines. The thickest line in the pencil barcode will indicate A. The thicker line B, thick line C, and the smallest line in width will indicate D. So the orders of these lines will be the same. Each line's width will be according to its answer. So they will stick this answer print in form of barcode on the pencil. 
and they will send the photos of pencils to all the students. We will go on our first plan trick instructed by Lynn, as there are three breaks in this test. In the first break, completing first section, I will send the answers to all students, my friend and her buddy, going to the lavatory. So she does the same. Bank and Lynn do it in the first two breaks. But Bank spends most time in the lavatory when third break starts. Supervisor opens the door quickly, reaching there, because he had started to suspect that Bank is going to lavatory again and again. The cell phone is broken, falling from Bank's hand, and he is caught. On the other side, Lynn is also unable to go to the lavatory because there are also other students there. Returning to the examination hall, Lynn is confused seeing it. That bank is also not here. It means there was surely something wrong. Now the third section of the test is begun, but she is not understanding how she may send the last section's answers. So she memorizes it while writing on the side of the paper. She vomits, inserting the pencil into her mouth. It is her excuse to go outside. She moves to the lavatory from there, saying, I cannot take the exam because my condition is going unwell. That supervisor pursues her. He is Australian. They were obviously in Australia, and the rules and regulations of this country were very strict. So he says to her, you'll have to take your exam after returning to your seat. Lynn says to him, I am not well, so don't want to come back. But that supervisor takes her forcefully for the test. So Lynn puts her mobile phone in someone else's bag while leaving. But the good side is this, she had already sent the messages for this question paper. She notices, returning back, that Bank is seated there. The faculty knows that Lynn and Bank are students of the same school, so they had a suspicion of both of them equally. So Lynn had also been called. But Bank reveals till that time that Lynn is not involved in it. Lynn returns to her country, Thailand, from there. So her friend greets her, but Lynn is very worried here. She embraces her father and weeps a lot while meeting him there, because she is getting worried about Bank. Many days later, when she moves to Bank's house, then she observes a sports bike there. There are also some costly things there, seeing she does not understand who brought them here. Then she notices Bank, who tells her, don't worry, I had returned. It was not a critical problem, and I have purchased these things from that money, which I got from there. She shows her some news, look at this. One more international exam is going to be conducted. What is the thought? We can also earn a heavy amount of money from it. Then, Lynn says, no bank, we have committed many wrongdoings. Then, blank intimidates her, I will reveal the secret if you don't agree with me, that you had also a partnership with me. But Lynn leaves, disagreeing with him. In the end, it is seen that Lynn is seated before an officer, and she is revealing to him that I had helped in cheating in that international test. She also tells when and how she helped in cheating. It indicates that she has come to the realization of her mistake. She was also guilty of this. The movie ends with this scene.